Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? They, at this point, they remember two different things, and at this point, I don't know which one is right. They need to get their memory together. What's good with my amazing, beautiful people? It's your boy, Eddie, and I'm back at it again with another video. Back at it again. Back at it again. Back at it again with another gaming video. It's been 10 years since Tyler and his sister Allison seen each other. Now, what they say about their mother, she's abusive, that, well, Tyler pretty much saying everything. I think Allison is just agreeing on what he's saying. But pretty much he's saying that she's abusive, that she didn't really love him the way that she should. But things changed. Things changed. Oh, yes, they did. They broke into the mother room because, you know, they're trying to sell the house now. Uh, after they reconnected. And they seen that the mother had a book about how to rage a how to rage wow <laughs> she had a book on how to raise a transgender son well transgender child so that changed things so now they on their way to meet with um their mother's friend because they want to know why their mother's friend fell out with their mother so, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to that bell and constantly to notify you. I post a video on my channel. Also, if you can just stay connected with me, my phone And with that being said, let's dive on it. Hello? Hello? Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. I want to know what Tessa's going to say. Just. Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? I'm something with the sister now. Who's Michael? Hey, Mike. Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Oh, she probably work here. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co-worker I was telling you about. Oh yeah, so she works here. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co-worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Um, which one I'm gonna pick? Maybe gonna be roommates, or he wasn't... Or he wants to move to... Let's see. He wants to move to... Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno, too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. Yep, you yeah. know. I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How That's can I say cool. no to that? Exactly. <laughs> you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah. There's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill. Especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. It'd be nice to have a chef as a roommate. You no. Know? He can cook for you all the time. Be a charge. Okay, so... I go through here? No. Should we go inside or stand around until we become human popsicles? Okay, can I check around? Hey, you rushing me. 
Okay, I'm not looking at all of this. That, that gotta wait. That can wait. Now you wanna now you wanna now your nose is running. All that time he's at the house, your nose is running at all. Let's go inside. Where's this girl at? Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just <laughs> didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. You expect to see a girl. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. No, it's not. No. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Mm-hmm. They can't stand it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. Really, it does. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Oh, so that's his wife? Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus okay. snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Okay. Special offer box, we'll get one free. Get that. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. I'm Michael got in here. We ain't got in here. What is he outside? Can't wait to have a midlife crisis and buy a boat. Maybe and where he at? I ain't reading his book. You know. If Juno doesn't work out, maybe I'll join you. Sailing into the sunset sounds pretty good right now. There well, you go. You'll be welcome on my ship, the naughty boy. <laughs> That's it. Boat puns are canceled. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. I'll take the strong just one. Take it. Yeah. He, he's just talking. He just to be talking. Okay. Got any big plans in Juno? Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish okay. any of it sounded good. So that's grape soda. I don't like grape soda. Grape soda just looks like the color grape. You know what I'm well, saying? All the good fishing spots are marked. Okay, so let's get some some juice. OJ sound good to you? Yep. yep. Better. Only thing we getting. How many hours did we spend here as kids? I'm gonna press that book. Rerun the place. A lot. Marianne would come here to play cards with Tessa and we'd have the run of the place. It was the highlight of the week. We'd play on the playground and Tessa would let us fill our plates at the restaurant. And it got Marianne off our backs for a little while. Tyler, you're not gonna help me look around for the things that we need in this house? Are you supposed to be helping me? It's not gonna work out already. This is not gonna work out. Mm mm. How you gonna be chilling? And he must be looking at things for the house. What's wrong with you? You know what? Let me just have to get what I gotta get and get up out of here because. Let's see. He being lazy Fresh at this point. Peonies, triple Peonies. layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope. Just browsing these fancy ass candles. Hmm. Plain candles are fine. Get some tonight. Hey Tyler, candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Why is she getting everything? Why not help her? Take a picture of this. No, you take a picture. All the good fishing spots are marked. Yo, he gave me tight. <laughs> he gave me tight. He ain't doing nothing but just sitting there, just standing there. Sugar rush, it is. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter.
I'm about to take some, take a picture. Boy, you got a phone too. You better take your own pictures. Will that be all? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, Tom. Who's oh, hi, that? Tessa. What is Tessa? We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Mm-hmm. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? That we book. want to ask you some questions about her. You better answer. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. You probably don't want to be judged. But that's why she kept it a secret. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. And she saw no sense of compassion, what no hug. Is that? You know, hug or nothing. Told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. You know something. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely is. Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hey, hiding something. Ooh. Thanks, can that door open and scare the heck out of me? It's like it was right here next to me. I'm like, I'm gonna check my closet. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. A memory. Where is it coming from? Where does memory coming from? Oh, right here. I like this part of this game. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Calling your debts. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Call up your version. Wait, the angles mess me up. The angles mess me up. What do you remember, Tyler? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. Exactly. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? They, at this point, they remember two different things, and at this point, I don't know which one is right. They need to get their memory together. This is ridiculous. Tyler seen his mother as... Being a, being a bad mother and Tessa sees something completely different. Like, which one is it? I'm confusion. What is that? 
Juice, Tyler Memory. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Which is it going to be? And then what's my memory? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? No, huh? Tessa was. She went on Jack Thompson on her. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Okay, then what Tyler remember? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. I don't know, Tyler. You be exaggerating. I'm gonna go with my memory. You exaggerate a lot. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... My God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside. What is wrong with you? Okay, I might. Like, like... Probably gonna be mad at me. I wish you would have trusted me on this. I you? really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. Yeah. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Not everything's about you. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Why tell they gonna make everything about him? Everything is not about him. Tessa? Can we talk? Can we talk? Is there something I can do for you? For a minute. Um. What are you up to? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. Uh, you're fighting Marianne? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself. Mm -hmm. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death. Didn't you? Show did. We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. You know what I'm talking this about. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. Mm -hmm. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Well, remember. No, I was in the middle of something. She hold okay. back something. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. What is she holding back? I think she knows more than she's letting on. Yeah, I think that's too. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. <laughs> Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. <laughs> You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Okay, let's do that. Hey, Tommy. I got a question for you. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh... Remember that one song? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? Mm-hmm. They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. That's a not bit hearing cheesy it. for my tastes. I'm not going to play this song without getting a copyright strike. Did you see 
This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Bet you got all these memories. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah? Hey, get it, Mary Tessa, Come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Think there's more memory lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. What's this one? The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag, it's fine. Oh no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, mm. happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. Where's the next memory at? What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with a storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. There I am. I said I'm fine! Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? What is they that? Can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. She gave up. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? Oh, pamphlet. I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. Then we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Okay, so I'm guessing that's it with the memories. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? That was really the organization name? She's just making that up. <laughs> Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Here's the pamphlet. Pamphlet that's gonna be. It's not gonna be hanging on this board over here. I don't see it. Is it in here? Mary in the back of your Did office. Did you finish Shape of Yesterday yet? Oh, almost. Sorry, I'll give it back next week. Oh, there's no rush. I was just wondering if you were enjoying it. The teen prick. Can I help you, Allison? I'm just oh, checking. No, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just Elmo? looking for something that I forgot. Mm -hmm. Why would I know about some doing silly here? show for teenage girls? Oh, what I pick that up for? I'm still stuff out this girl office. That's a shame. <laughs> ah, 2004. Anything interesting? What does it say? Elijah, June. Twenty-four dollars for a meal at the restaurant. Paid off. December, eleven dollars off for the kid. Eric, February, fifty dollars. March paid off February's debt. December, December twenty dollars on gas paid in full. Oh, Marianne, dang! No show. It 
looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Let's read it. Months before that night. Let's be nosy. Okay, Mary Ann in April. The $50 for the gas was paid off. In May, 30, she paid $37 for groceries and $30 in a new jacket for Allison. She paid that off from the help at the store. On June 20, on June, she paid $25. She paid $21 for medicine. She paid that off. In August, she paid $40 for groceries. In October, $140 for a washing machine repairs. No show. November, $55. New shoes for kids. Check bounce. December, no show. Not returning calls. January, no show. Dang. She got hit that. <laughs> she got hit with that $140. She said, <laughs> she did the SpongeBob meme. All right, I'm going to head out. <laughs> She ain't paying no hundred forty dollars or no machine repairs. <laughs> Where's that pamphlet? Oof, it's Ooh. cold outside, isn't it? Yeah, the mm -hmm. heck out of me. Hope it isn't too drafty in that old house. It is not her. warm, but we have lots of firewood. Is there something I can do for you? Um, we remember details. Hold on. You sure we've seen everything? Oh no, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We should keep looking. We gotta look for that pamphlet. No, maybe not. Yeah, let's make sure we've been thorough. Yeah, look for that pamphlet. What that pamphlet is that? Where would that pamphlet be at? Would it be on the computer? Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Tessa is so nice. Tessa is so nice. Okay, she says urgent. Don't miss out this opportunity. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 cash to go to school? This is not a loan. You won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below to take two minute questionnaire and claim your money. Click here to let us know if you prefer check or direct deposit. That's a scam. I ain't, I ain't doing that. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Watch Dr. Whitmore talk, articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. A parent's guide to prevent same-sex attraction. Virtue seekers. Youth camp now in the 20th year. Mission for 2015 open. Okay, let's read the rest of the stuff. Hello, thank you for shopping with us. The Old of Garlic Pillar Kitchen Tool has been shipped. Arriving, okay. Oh my god, what is all of this? Hey Tessie, I just got back from my work, my workation, and found the girls in bed sleeping like happy log. Adrian said they were riding high when he picked them up from your place today. And apparently you got them both to eat Kia Kia. Kia Kia? What the heck is Kia Kia? Um, please let me know what saint you prayed to pull that off. All morning they have been going on and on about their camping trip with Aunt Tessa and all of the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they were both this happy and at the same time. At the same time. Usually it's one happy, the other one's crying. I know you're busy with the store and getting ready to be the first lady, to be first lady. So thanks for making time for them. And so sorry about last minute drop off. You know how work has been. The girls say we love you, Aunt T. Tessa. Uh, P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian been dying to show him the new media room, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, Notorious, and I see. Think we've seen enough? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. Ooh, let's confront Tessa. Tessa, you have nothing else is to hide, Is there something baby girl. I can do for you? We remember details. We're back with details that should help your memory. Exactly. Oh, really? Yes, really. Mm hmm. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening mm -hmm. to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It mm -hmm. turned into an argument. In you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Mm -hmm. Call in debts. I never. Like I'm some kind of lone shark. When the did this supposedly occur? 
Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. What is that notebook? Oh! Oh, it was October. It was October. I remember that $140 for that machine repair. It was October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm I right. don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. And what you argued about? I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were it's, arguing about money. What type money. of saying is that? Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You were mad she bailed on you. You told her about the camp. You said she was failing us. Oh, which one? Um. Um. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You was mad she bailed on you? Remember the day she was supposed to help you get ready for Bible study? And she showed up hours late and totally wasted? Was that it? I really have no idea what you're talking about, and I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her, to help you all. I think I picked the wrong even one. when she fought me, even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort, even when she even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look. We know you took care of us. And we're grateful. Mm-hmm. But I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No, and I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do, I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? Mm -hmm. I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both. And fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. If you're so fucking righteous, why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go, now. Can we have our groceries? Ah. Uh. Um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Oh. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. Mm-hmm. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Oh, are you man. serious right now? I think I you just were on her wrong. case the whole time. Don't turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something, and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Oh, mm -hmm. that sanctimonious bitch! Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us. To you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think... Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. Oh, so she he was she stood was up for me, Allison. She was still crazy, Marianne, but she saw me. Mm -hmm. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last ten years, and now it's gone. I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. So it does. Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Come on, let's get this and go back home. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. Yep, sure I am. Marianne pretty well, and... He was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go.
This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What? I sure hero. can. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. They still got this creepy mascot, huh? What? Officer Justin Beaver is not creepy. Yep. He's Delos Crossing's longest serving officer. I am the law. That's what things I am. I am the law. I'm not gonna read what's on this bulletin. Hold Wrestling. on. What? I wanna catch up on all the Delos Crossing gossip. Oh no. Meet me when you're done. Have fun. Meet me in the open space when you're done. I ain't gonna try to read all of that. Home sweet home. Hmm. You spent a lot of time here growing up? Yeah, whenever Eddie was working. The whole precinct's basically family. There's a memory somewhere. Where's the memory at? There's a memory somewhere. Where is it? Before we go here, let's see what's on his desk. That's Denise Wilson's desk. Remember her? Uh, Crazy D? The woman who set fire to her ex's trailer? Allegedly set fire. She was acquitted. And that's Officer Wilson to you. Oh no, it was her birthday. I completely forgot. You're a terrible person. It's your fault. I was so excited to see you that it completely slipped my mind. That's right, happy birthday, Professor. Uh, wish her happy birthday. Maybe she won't notice that I added it afterward. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get up out of here. Okay, let's see what else is around. It's the memories. I just don't know where it's at. What? Claire Brown went missing on a snowmobile trip? Yeah. Something's in the way. Whew, that is going to smell lovely tomorrow. It's from Tessa's restaurant, right? Uh-huh. Everyone eats there all the time. It's as exciting as food gets in Delos Crossing. What about this door? Is that locked? Okay, so that door's locked. Okay, so any place I can see going uh, is up. Locked. This door locked too. Oh, this is, this is what I remember. Come on, man. We can't make these poor kids sleep here. Well, where do you suggest they go? Social services will be here in a few hours, and this is the only room with a bed. Anywhere but a cell. We'll find some other place. Here we go again. God, not here too. I'm not ready. Me neither. You remember Dan and Shelby? I think so. The high schoolers who were always pissing Tessa off because they would blast fish and make out in the Becky's parking lot. Yep. Dan's a cop now. They're married and have a kid, a dog, the whole shebang. Damn. When did everybody decide to become an attorney? Tyler, you coming? I'm sorry, Tyler. You're talking so much. We gotta see what Eddie's at. <laughs> That's Edward Brown. Oh, it might be short for Eddie. It might be his nickname. Allison, hey. Yeah. Just finishing up a call. Trying to convince Melinda the Ravens and her garbage aren't police business. You look young. Give me a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Make yourselves a cup of coffee. Here's the key to the break room. I was expecting to look old. Thanks. Come back upstairs when you're done, okay? Coffee sound good? The machine is in the break room downstairs. Uh-huh. You didn't say hi to Tyler, nothing like that. You didn't see the person behind that girl? Break room, she said downstairs. Let's go downstairs. Oh, another memory. Ooh, 
Who's that, Marianne? And that's Eddie. You know, I really thought I'd lock those memories in some deep, deep part of my brain. Same here. <sighs> Something's in the way. Okay, so no, he said in break. Break. Did Brown just flat out ignore me? That's what I'm um, saying. I didn't notice. Girl, how you didn't notice? I mean, he's probably feeling awkward since, you know, you didn't take his gift. Great. He's making it weird. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, you don't see that guy behind Allison? Like, you're not going to acknowledge, oh, who's that guy behind you? And it was memory somewhere around here. Okay, let's go in. Where's the memory at? Is it in here? Where's the memory at? There's a memory right here somewhere. Yep. I can't find it. What are you saying? Hey, is this crazy D's locker? I don't know. I think so. Yep. I think so. We need a key to open it. Hey, a phone ringing. Well, vibrating. Yep. It's locked. Can you just say that? Do we need to keep Ugh, opening? They've let this place get gross. I'm not that hungry. Are you sure? How is it still warm? You sure you want coffee this late in the day? You'll be up all night. Uh, I don't think I'll sleep much anyways. Too much in my mind. Those dusty couches won't make it any easier. Hey, you okay? Let's remember the time. I can't do this. Calm down, Allison. Stick to the plan. Come on, don't freak out on me now. I can't. Please, I can't lie. We already lied. It's all going to be fine, okay? You okay? Honestly, no. Do you ever regret? No, no way. Well, maybe once or twice early on, but now, no way. I mean, look where we're at. Look where I'm at. <laughs> Uncle Eddie's probably done by now. We should go find him. Let's go find him. Do you mind if I go inside that room for a second? Uh, you sure? That achievement bound to a lot. Right, let me go here with you. It's the first time I've been in here since that night. Eddie was so uncomfortable, he dropped a vein. Here, um, have a seat. All right. Ah, damn it. Um, sorry. Kept this? What? It's that vase. They glued it back together. Hmm. Why does music sound all spooky now? What are you looking at? Uh, this poster. I Whoa. kept staring at it that night. I was picturing myself in the forest. You don't see I that post he was treasure. looking at? You want to question what he's looking at? Obviously, it's the post. What else is yeah. going to be on the water he's looking at? He will be asking some dumb questions. What is on his floor? Huh. What's that back there? No way. Have you been hiding back here all this time? That's like a little, uh, a little collectible.
He has collected ice cream. Okay. So we gotta be with Eddie. Oh, let's move this out the way. There's a memory here somewhere. Where is it? Okay, you don't know to say anything? Separate us? Is Ollie okay? Ollie's just fine, honey. They're all in the other room having cocoa. Everything's gonna be okay. I need to ask you a few questions now. Come with me. You okay? Yeah. I just usually try my best not to remember that night when I'm here. I would too. Okay, let's move this out the way. This is heavier than I expected. Girl, it's a rollaway car. You got wheels on it. <laughs> but it was heavy, girl. The wheels will help with support. Okay, let's meet with um Eddie. Let's meet with me. Hey, sorry that took so long. Sometimes these old folks want us to come out just because they're lonely. No worries, Uncle. Uh, hey, you don't see Tyler? You remember this guy? Tyler, brother. Of course. Okay. Tyler Ronan. They say something. The prodigal son returns. You just gonna walk by him, not yep. say nothing? Look at you. I didn't even recognize you at first. I heard that a lot today, Chief Brown. Chief Brown. No need for that kind of formality. Not with family. Huh. How you finding Delos Crossing? Change much? Uh, same dump, different year. <laughs> well, we're no Juno, but lots of folks feel at home here. It's gotta be good to be back with your sister, huh? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. <sighs> Look, Eddie, we aren't here just to say hi. We found something in Marion's room. Things aren't really adding up anymore, and we've got questions. Oh yeah? Um, um, uh, very and worried about something, or what were her last days? Uh, what were her last days like? Did anyone mention anything about her behavior in the days leading up to that day? Anything at all? No, everyone I talked to said it took them by surprise. Did you see her at all? Like, in those last few days? No. I hadn't seen her for... weeks. Maybe a month before. Was she worried about something? Did she mention anything about us that might have been worrying her? Mm-hmm. About Tyler in particular? No. She dealt with those kind of worries all on her own. Kept the rest of us at arm's length. I see. I will tell you one thing, though. What? Your mom. Never knew her to hate anyone for being unconventional. Usually. It's the other way around. I knew I had a feeling that Tyler made it. It seemed like it was all about him. He may seem like his mother was the bad person, but she really wasn't. She was trying to understand him, but by him being different, being born different, he made it seem like she was trying to go against what he was doing. But it wasn't that. But that wasn't the case. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. He exaggerated. Thanks, Uncle Eddie. If you want my advice, nothing good comes from stirring up old memories. <laughs> We don't really have a choice about that. There's always a choice, son. I know sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but there is. <laughs> Can we take a look at her file? Maybe we'd see something you didn't. Her file? Her case file, her police file, whatever you call it. You keep those pretty much forever, right? We do, but I can't just pull it out right here, right now. There are procedures. <laughs> but you're the chief. It makes it even more important that I follow procedures. Look, Chief Brown, are you going to help us? 
Or are you gonna be a cop about Tyler! This? Chill. Chill, you're doing too much. It's fine. Tyler, I know you resent me, but fireweed was the best deal I could get you. I'm not mad about fireweed, but I may be a little salty you kept my sister away for seven fucking years. <laughs> That's what this is about? Ooh. Look, that was the court's recommendation. They're the experts. I just went along. Yeah, sure you did. Trust me, son. We all believed that what happened that night was self-defense. But we couldn't be sure. <laughs> I can't believe this. Look, we couldn't be sure, okay? I was trying to protect you both. So you still not sure? What? You still think keeping us apart was the right call? She was traumatized. We needed each other to heal. And you took that away from us. So why didn't you let your sister visit when you turned 18 Uncle, then, huh? Uncle, please. Oh, Let's yeah, move on. She's never going to tell you how much that hurt her. But it did. That was about me. It wasn't about her. Allison gets that. And three Everything years is about him. Is him, him, him. Compared to seven. Right, Allie? Being kept apart was wrong. Um, Eddie did his best for me. Um, being kept apart was wrong. Look, Uncle, separating us like that did not help me heal. If mm. anything, it was the opposite. Even if he had been dangerous, I'd have taken the risk. Being apart was that miserable. I didn't know you felt that way, little moose. Oh, it's a little moose. It was hard to talk to you about it. You said little moose. I didn't want to seem ungrateful. <laughs> Look, we've all fucked up. And we've all hurt each other. But isn't that what family's for? Yep. Can't we just move on? Sounds like the right call. <laughs> Times like this, I, I wonder who raised who. We're gonna stay the night at the old house. We better get going. You wanna grab a bite first? It's on me. <laughs> Don't wanna send you out there with empty stomachs. I would not turn that down. Okay, let's go. What the heck is that? Uh oh, you see what I see? There's some wickedness in this game. Mm -mm. I don't like it one bit. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, it might be another um flashback. No! Allison! Allison! Oh, you see the thing in the bag. I see it, right? Or is I'm bugging? Yup. Who the heck is that? Look like Thanos. <laughs> Look like a dark skinned Thanos. Please, Mom. I'm sorry I cut my hair. I won't do it again. I'm going to kill you! No! Please! Please! I feel like he's making this up. Please. No, don't do this. I don't think it went that way. That didn't sound right. She was the one that killed her mother. I killed her. I killed her. Allison, we need to call for help. I killed her. No, you didn't. I killed her. And when they come, that's what we're going to tell them. Oh, so that was the lie. No. Yes. We look out for each other. That's what goblins do. And brothers and sisters. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. 
But I bet y'all that it didn't went that way. If Allison was there, she would probably say her version of it. I have a feeling it wasn't. It didn't happen that way. I feel it in my spirit. But I'm gonna keep quiet and see what's gonna happen next. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Okay, so Tyler and Allison. Allison was disappointed that Eddie didn't accept. Allison was disappointed that Tyler didn't accept Eddie's piece of offering. Seventy-seven percent of people with accepted the ring. Fourteen people, including me, uh, refused the ring. Nine nine percent threw the ring in the water. Okay, what's next? Tyler and Allison. Allison felt downhearted that Tyler refused to solve the princess's riddle. 87% of people solved the door puzzle. Oh, they did? Congrats. Well, no. Congrats. I wasn't going to solve it. All that reading. I wasn't. And 13% busted down, busted open the door puzzle. Okay, so Tyler felt unrecognized by Allison's lack of trust at the store. 55% chose Tyler's memory, 45% chose Allison's memory. Mm. Um, Tyler was reassured of his bond to Allison when she sided with him at the station. 69% sided with Tyler and 31% sided with Eddie. So I'm part of that 69%. Um, Sam Kansky. Tyler earned Sam respect. 53% called out Sam, 47 didn't call out Sam. Okay. Tessa shut down, shut out the twins with Marianne. Fifty-two percent learned the truth. Twenty, twenty-three percent didn't get an answer, and twenty-five percent, which I am, didn't. Twenty-five percent antagonized Tessa. Eddie Brown. Okay, okay, okay. Are they found the truth? So what now? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. Oh, oh next episode gonna be juicy like a burger! Okay, there you have it. Mm, I'm like a lot of people in this town knows the truth about their mother. But they're not saying it to these kids, which is wrong. And I'm trying to figure out what was dark Skin Thanos doing in the police office, in the police station, and in the woods on the day that uh, Mary Ann was murdered. What was he doing there? Collecting the rings? Ain't no rings in this game. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, um, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to the bell icon so YouTube will notify you when I post a new video on my channel. And um, yeah, I'll be back playing chapter two because we gotta see what happens when we break into the police archives. So with that being said, I'll see you next time. Deuces.